Alright guys, in this uh, ICT basics video I'm going to go over what is a fair value gap. So a fair value gap is a three candle pattern in which only one side of the marketplace was offered and it can be identified as follows. There are two versions of it. The first version is called a buy side imbalance sell side inefficiency otherwise known as a BISI and the second version of it is called a SIBI or sell side imbalance buy side inefficiency. A sell side imbalance buy side inefficiency looks like this. It can be identified as a three candle pattern in which only the body of the second candle is offered. So notice that the low of candle one which is 15,592 halves and the high of candle three which is 15,584 evens. Notice that there are no wicks back into this candle's body. What that means is that the market for that five minutes only offered to the sell side, meaning that from, from this candle's low to candle three's high, the market is sell side imbalanced, buy side inefficient. And what that means, it means many different things, but the, the first most thing is that the market should come back through it, as it does here, in the opposite direction or to the buy side. Now, it's just the first building block to be able to identify what a SIBI is uh, and what a BISI is. It, it, it doesn't tell you exactly what to do with them, but in this video I'm just telling you how to identify them. The other kind of a fair value gap is called a buy side imbalance, sell side inefficiency, and it looks like this. So notice that from candle one, the high of candle one to the low of candle three, only candle two or the middle candle's body was offered. This is also a bissy. So bissy, bissy. Okay. Um, it's even a small, small bissy there. Okay, so from the high of that candle of 574 three quarters to the low of candle three, which is 577 halves, only that candle's body was offered, meaning that the market was in a buy side imbalance, sell side inefficient for that, um, for that five minute period. And the very first thing it means is that at some point the market should come back and offer that same price to the downside. Okay, guys. This has been an ICT basics video on how to identify the two different types of fair value gaps, which are, again, a sell side imbalance, buy side inefficiency, such as where my cursor is, and a buy side imbalance, sell side inefficiency, such as where my cursor is. So in this ICT basics video, I taught you the two different types of fair value gaps, a SIBI and a BISI. Uh, there are three candle patterns showing you where the market was inefficient, inefficient, the price was inefficiently delivered for a period of time, and um, how to identify the two different types of fair value gaps. All right, y'all have a good one.